PwC is a consulting behemoth with over $50 billion in revenue, 320,000 employees, and a 160-year history that built it up to where it is today. If you're thinking about starting the next PwC, it would be nearly impossible today to build a firm to that size and scale in the consulting services industry. Now, PwC, of course, includes more than just consulting. They also have an audit and a tax division, but the consulting division is a special star inside PwC. Today, we're going to focus on what makes the PwC case interview a PwC case interview and how it's different from other firms' case interviews. Let's dive in. But before we do, please subscribe to this channel and make sure that you're on our email list. One question that a lot of people come to us trying to figure out is what is the difference between a PwC case interview and a strategy and case interview? As you may know, strategy and is the strategy arm of PwC Consulting, and their specific focus is on strategic early phase projects when somebody isn't sure what to do. But PwC Advisory, which is the large part of what we're going to talk about today, makes up the bulk of the interviews available for PwC. And those PwC case interviews are focused on implementation roles, systems, operations, and technology, less on just the pure strategy, like strategy and. Compared to McKinsey interviews, Bain interviews, BCG interviews, PwC interviews are generally not as intense, they're not as mathematical, and they don't require the same level of preparation. In fact, if you prepare for an MBB interview, you should be ready for anything. But if you're only preparing for a PwC case interview, I've got good news for you. You probably need 10 to 20 hours of prep, and that's it. However, I would recommend that you break that prep down and don't try to do 10 or 20 hours in one weekend. Giving yourself four to six weeks for a PwC case interview will ensure better chances of success. There are five key skills that PwC looks for in their case interviews. Number one, your problem-solving skills. PwC case interviews often start with an open-ended question. They look to see how you structure something, what data you would want. PwC really thrives on this kind of problem-solving, and they want their staff to be great at it too. Number two, your communication skills. As with all consulting firms, PwC really focuses on your client readiness and your ability to communicate not just with peers your age, but more importantly, with folks that are older than you on the client side and even the CEOs of firms will be an important part of your evaluation. Number three, your creativity. PwC is a large organization, and while they have a lot of systems and a lot of training, they're still looking for people who can navigate a frontier. Creativity provides the insight to see how you can do that. So there will often be, in a PwC case interview, a creative question. Fourth, they're looking for common sense. This is often tested in open-ended data questions where they'll say, what do you think the size of this market is? Or what do you think our revenue opportunity is? Or what do you think would be the three types of costs and how much would each of them be? When you are doing this, they're testing your ability to gather your own data using a baseline of your own common sense. So if the question is an automotive, but you've never done something in automotive, sure, focus me on airlines. If you've never done something in consumer products, okay, focus me on technology or focus me on your experience as a consumer of consumer products. They're looking for your ability to tie whatever information you do have to the information that you need. And fifth, but not least, is collaboration. PwC really values a collegial and a team-oriented environment. No divas at PwC. The focus is on people who can work great with others, and that includes your ability to collaborate. Often, PwC interview processes will include some kind of group interview. These group interviews are powerful because they provide the opportunity to see not just how you operate, but how you operate in a team. There are five key insights that you'll need to solve PwC case interviews effectively. First, you must drive the case. 
Whereas we recommend that your first 10 cases you practice are McKinsey style, i.e. the interviewer is the one who drives the case. These are candidate-led cases. So once you've developed a baseline of casing, you'll need to do 10 more cases in this style. Why don't we recommend just starting with the candidate-led cases? The problem is if you are trying to lead a case but you have no idea what to do, then you don't have a great foundation. So our successful prep process includes beginning with McKinsey style cases no matter what your end up, but you should really focus if you know that you have a PwC interview on this type of candidate-led case. What makes a case candidate-led? Well, put simply, it's a case in which you have the responsibility to move from part to part. So you will focus on making sure that you have, let's say, a key area of insight, and then you ask for the data that you'll need, or the key data that you've driven to, and you'll ask for some creative questions that you think would be helpful. Being candidate-led involves a lot of knowledge, and it's a very difficult type of case. Number two, candidate-led cases, specifically at PwC, require you to be hypothesis-driven throughout. If you don't start with a hypothesis, you are going to go on a random data gathering journey that will not lead anywhere. That's not ideal, not what they're looking for. So rather, they'll look for you to begin with a hypothesis, gather the data you need to test the hypothesis, either confirm the hypothesis or deny it and move on. If you don't use this type of hypothesis-driven approach, you won't be able to effectively solve a PwC case interview. Number three, it's really important that you engage your interviewer. If you find yourself going on monologues instead of asking questions, verifying information, providing a hypothesis, and then asking them their thoughts about it, they won't be able to see that you're the kind of collaborative worker that PwC is looking for. Number four, make sure that you're MISI in your framework. PwC really values linear and clear thought, being MISI, mutually exclusive and collectively exhaustive in the way that you think and present your ideas, gives PwC the sense that you will have autonomy and you will also have clarity in your work. Fifth and finally, it's important that you emphasize structured and clear communication. PwC expects that you'll be client ready from day one. And in order to do that, you have to be able to walk them through a thought process in the same way that you would somebody who's never touched what you're talking about before. But in that process, build trust and have them walk away saying, wow, that person was really smart, a great presenter, and very, very wonderful. That kind of enhanced structured conversation will lead to communication and a view that you will be great in front of clients. So how do you prepare for PwC case interviews? As I mentioned already, you should start with McKinsey interviews. And it might seem odd, but trust me, we have more than 10,000 people who can attest to this method as being incredibly successful. Second, you need to introduce this kind of candidate-led process for PwC. And third, you need to really emphasize the structuring portion of your framework because that's going to be the most critical part that you will have to lead someone through. If you use drills on the MC platform or elsewhere, that's the best way to practice for structuring. Overall, PwC case interviews are like medium spice. Not super easy, but also not the most impossible that you'll come up with. It's important that you prepare. 20 hours should be enough. But if you need great partners, you can find them at Management Consulted or you can work with one of our experts. We would love to help you prepare for a PwC case interview.